Well, good morning to you. Welcome. I'm glad you're spending a, a few minutes with me on an important devotional time. I want to look with you today at neology, the um, science, I guess we could call it, of prayer. Today I want to look with you at what we might call every man's prayer. Every man's prayer. A simple example from the book of Genesis. Now, if you look at the book of Genesis, you'll find that in the first 20-some chapters, you see mostly God, when God does interact with people, uh, usually it's by a dream or it's some direct thing going on. But this prayer in 24 of Genesis, this prayer is more like what we probably normally think of as prayer. So here's the setting real quick. Abraham, he needs a bribe for his son Isaac. And he charges his servant to make sure he follows through this pattern to try to get his son the bride that is needed, uh, the right one. And so he sends him away, he sends him with many of his riches, and he sends him with ten camels. And he goes away to this location. And uh, now when he arrives, he sends up this prayer. And this is the first kind of regular prayer like we might be normally thinking of. Let's just read it. It's at, it's at uh, Genesis 24, and it is at verse 12. So here's his prayer. O Lord God of my master Abraham, please give me success this day and show kindness to my master Abraham. Behold, here I stand by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Now let it be that the young woman to whom I say, please let down your pitcher that I may drink, and she says, drink, and I will also give your camels a drink, let her be the one you have appointed for your servant Isaac. And by this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. Well, the short version of this story is that this is exactly what happens. In fact, before he's finished praying, this, this young lady comes out. And I don't know how many gallons it would take to do ten camels. I'm not even sure how many gallons it would take to water one camel. But multiply it by ten, and that's, that might be a lot of watering going on. But this young lady comes, and she offers him a drink, and she offers that she will also, spontaneously offers that she will water all ten of his camels. And he gives thanks to God because this is an immediate, straight-up answer to prayer. Simple prayer. We don't even know this guy's name. He's the servant of Abraham. So anyway, here is a simple pattern of something very simple. Many times we're just praying for God to intervene. And here's one. He sends up his prayer. And before he's even finished, God has answered the prayer by sending uh, this woman, who does become Isaac's wife, uh, and his mission is fulfilled. So every man's prayer. Simple. Straightforward. God... Give me, a, do something for me right now, if you'd be willing. And he makes, gives a, a way that God can answer that's simple, that's straightforward, that is distinct, and that, that fits the situation. But this woman, young woman, didn't have to water ten camels. That sounds like a lot of work. Anyways, every man's prayer. God is, is for us. He is for us. He's on our side. Let's pray to him. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you're listening to the prayer of every person. And here's a simple example. We could call it every man's prayer. Help us, Lord, to pray some of these every man's prayers and, and watch you work and see you do mighty things. And we know you care and you want to answer. But many times we don't really set it up or give you an opportunity to answer. So help us, even if we're just a simple every man. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Well, interesting. This is the way it worked, even back in Genesis 24. And this is the way it will work for you, way back here, thousands of years later. God be with you today.